Hi, this is JP LaForce from EfficientAnalyst.com. Welcome to this video on getting started with MicroStrategy Desktop. Before we begin, MicroStrategy Desktop is a free tool available on the MicroStrategy website, and I'll put a link in the description of the video below. The other piece that uh, we will be using in this video is a data set from the Kaggle.com uh, website and you can register deer for free and we're going to use the Rolling Stones 500 greatest albums of all time and I'll put a link to this one in the description below also and once you're in here you can download the uh, data set over here and you can use this one for free so this one they've uh, licensed it as public domain so we can uh, use it for purposes such as this one and just a great learning tool I think and a good data set to get started with. So when you open MicroStrategy Desktop for the first time most likely you would get an interface similar to this one and in the top left you have the new dossier button and this is where most of the magic will start. So the dossier is the name that MicroStrategy game gave for the files and the dashboards. And once you have it open, uh, you will notice a series of buttons here. And all this does is it turns on and off the different pieces of the interface. The first pane you'll notice is the contents pane. And this one includes chapters and pages. And this is how you can organize your visualizations. After that you have the datasets pane and here you can add new datasets or you can connect to existing datasets and existing objects if you already have a MicroStrategy instance to connect to. Then you have your editor, filters and format which allows you to make changes to the visualizations. You have some buttons on top here where you can add new visualizations, add new filters, add text, images, HTML containers, surveys, and different pieces like that. And finally on the right side you have your gallery where you can use some of the built-in visualizations such as a simple grid or you can also use uh, line charts and bar graphs and all sorts of different graphs that come with it including the S3 maps and you also have custom visualizations which you can download from the community and so you can see here we have the uh, most of these are the Viterra chart maps that you can get from the Viterra website. As soon as you're ready to connect to data you can click the new data button and over here you can see there's a wide variety of connectors so File from disk allows you to import Excel, CSV, JSON, text, and other types of files. This is very popular. But you can also connect to most databases directly, including standard SQL ones, but you also have Teradata, you have Microsoft SQL Server, uh, you have your Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Amazon, and so on. So there's quite a long list of connectors that come directly with MicroStrategy or you can also download other connectors from the community. So there's quite a lot of ways that you can get data into MicroStrategy. And in this case, we're going to do the file from disk. And from here, you click choose files. So we'll select the top 500 albums list from Rolling Stones. And you can either click finish, which very often uh, it does a pretty decent job at understanding the data but if you want to refine it more as we will do in this case you'll go in prepare data and there's two interfaces you can use there's this basic one or you can go in wrangle to do quite a lot of more advanced things but in here uh, basically is what you're going to tell if it's a metric or attribute so attribute are ways that you describe the data so you have the year that the album was released, the subgenre, the genre, the artist, and the album. And in this case, because number looks like numbers, uh, they put it as a metric, uh, which would be used if you're you have numbers you're trying to sum or add or 
divide or average, uh, for example. But in this case, uh, this would actually be an attribute. So we're going to convert it to an attribute. And examples of things that you would keep as a metric, so if you had uh, sales quantities, uh, sales by pound or by dollar amount or something like that, those would be great examples uh, that you would like to keep as a metric because no doubt that you would be adding those and trying to aggregate those in different ways. So once you're happy with the results, you click on finish and that's going to bring in the data set in and you can see that uh, you have all of your attributes available here. So you can just very quickly start to drag and drop. So if you go back in the editor, uh, this is where you could put your data and organize it in a very simple grid. But MicroStrategy also allows you to do much more than that. And we're going to be doing a series of videos on showing some of the features that you can use. But very quickly, you could uh, just start and add a new visualization. And I will move it to the bottom here. We will do a bar chart where we have the year as your horizontal and your row count as vertical. So here you can very quickly see that in the very early 70s and that time period is where most of the top 500 albums come from and very little from the 50s and very little from the 2000s uh, made it through the list. But as you can see you can very quickly aggregate your data and really make it easy to analyze and dig into your data in all sorts of ways. You can also add a uh, general filter over here that if you wanted to see, uh, if we go just with a classic rock and only wanted to see rock, you could select this and you can see kind of where the uh, rock albums uh, kind of fall time-wise. Or if you wanted to do something different and see jazz, uh, you can see there's not too many jazz albums that made it through the list, but there are a few of the really good ones that made it, including Miles Davis and John Coltrane. So as you can see, MicroStrategy allows you to very quickly, just in a few minutes, get data in and already start getting insight out of that data. If you like this type of content, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. If there's enough interest, I'll keep making more tutorials on how you can use MicroStrategy to really visualize your data quicker. Have a great day and I'll see you next time!